In this Python tutorial, we will make an application containing a spin object using py simple GUI. After entering the name, surname and birth date values, a text file is created when the button is pressed. The values entered in the text file are saved. We will do the application together again. I'll show you how to do it step by step. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I will transfer the PY Simple GUI library. You can transfer the library using this code. I import the library. I also import the calendar library for date operations. I will create a list. I add text and input objects to the list. I create a variable for the window. I send the title, layout and size values to the window function. I create an infinite while loop with true. I will create two variables named event and values. I synchronize the variables with the read function. Using these variables, I determine the operations to be performed in the application. For example, when the X button is pressed, the win closed function is called. If the event is win closed, I will end the while loop with the break command. Finally, I close the window. I created a window containing input and text objects. I add the text and input objects for the surname to the layout list. I added input objects for name and surname to the application. I add a text object to the list for birth date. The text object has been added to the application. Now I will create the spin objects. I'm creating a list containing numbers between 1 and 32 using a for loop. I will use the list in the spin object I will create for day. I send the day list, initial value, read only, size and enable events values to the spin function. I will create a spin object for months. I can create a list with all months using the calendar library. I'm copying and pasting. I am making the necessary arrangements. I will create a spin object for the year. I'm creating a list from 2000 to 2025. I'm copying and pasting. I am making the necessary arrangements. I add spin objects to the layout list. I added spin objects for day, month and year to the desktop window. I add button and text objects to the list.
button and text objects have been added to the desktop window. I need to define a key value to access objects. I define keys for spin, input, and text objects. I will access objects using these keys. I set a different key for each object. If the event value is saved, that is, the button is clicked, I will first create a text file. I can create the text file using the open function. I can send data to the text file using the write function. I can access spin, input and text objects using the keys I created. I print name, surname, day, month, and year values to the text file, respectively. I change the result text object using the update function. Finally, I close the file. After entering the name, surname and birth date values, a text file is created when the button is pressed. The values entered in the text file are saved. Let's save some more data. We will continue to learn how to use element objects in the next video. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.